What's up guys, Chasing Lamey here with episode number 131 of Welcome to Roxham. In today's episode, the old lady comes to the Norfolk Broads. We've got Juventus at home in the Europa League. So, like, subscribe. I'll see you after the intro. So unfortunately we start the episode with a little bit of bad news in that Matias Nunez has picked up a hip injury. He's out for four more months. He's going to return sometime at the beginning of March slash April, depending on how his recovery goes. But he's already 35. I've just given him a contract extension as well, which was unfortunate timing. I think he might retire off the back of this. I'm a little bit worried he will. I hope he doesn't, but let's not guarantee anything. Anyway... Let's have a look at what's going on in terms of the league fixtures since we last met, which was the Marseille game. Remember I said that City, Arsenal, West Ham were the toughest three fixtures we probably face all season? Well, it's been interesting because we played Arsenal at home, beat them 2-1, goals from Marcato and Gamar, good stuff. Beat Tottenham in the League two, sorry, in the league Cup, 2-0 with Gonzalez and Strecker scoring. We then drew one all with West Ham away at the Olympic Stadium with Raul Gonzalez scoring a penalty. We drew down with Besiktas at home, which was a game I'd have expected us to win. Don't really have an explanation for it, just things didn't really go our way in that game. Then went on a bit of a run of baddish form, where Everton beat us, who, you know, bear in mind we beat Arsenal, who are going to finish in the top four. Everton will struggle to beat relegation. Beat us 2-1 at home, then Burnley beat us 2-0 at home. We went to play Fenerbahce in Turkey and beat them 5-0. I thought maybe the form was back. It was a bit of a blip, maybe. Uh, Teshkel, Gustavo, Gustavo Sanchez got a brace. Raul Gonzalez got one and Abdullah Etiam scored. That was the game where Matias Nunez picked up his big injury as well. We then played Wolves, sadly without Matias Nunez, who is a Wolves legend at this stage. Uh, lost 2-0. Then we beat Chelsea 3-2. Goals from Gonzalez, Tiam and Mervyn Burns. Then beat Spurs at home 2-0 with goals from Raul Gonzalez and Tom Ritchie. Both goals inside the first seven minutes. Then just kind of defended it till the end. It was pretty fine. Which brings us up to the Juventus game. Looking at the Premier League. Well, we sit in eighth at the moment. That little blip has not helped us. But we're still in the fight. And we're only three points off of Burnley in fourth. I don't know how Burnley have got into fourth. They are having a ridiculous season. Safe to say, in fact, Everton are also above us, so they've also turned things around this season. But interesting to see things slowly mixing up. Chelsea are in a relegation fight, which is probably even more surprising, to be honest. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go and welcome Juventus to Wroxham. So today's starting lineup sort of picked itself, because I've only got 23 players fit. So I've got Garda and goal, Walters, Marcato, Strecker and Marais at the back, Emery, Gelladini and Gonzalez in the middle of the midfield, Gordon and Ritchie on the wings, Tiam up top, we've got Svetkov, Dorrington, Silla, Jimenez, Angeloni, Don, Teshkel, Yusuf, Sanchez, Basene, Kalaric and Burns on the bench. Of course, Ahmed Gamar not, re not registered for the tournament. I may swap him in for Matias Nunez. At the next available opportunity, let's get rid of the unavailable players because that just makes a cluster of things you can see then. That is all the players I have available to play in this game. So, without any further ado, let's go and play Juventus. So, in the dressing room, I tell them to carry their last performance into this match. We'll do well. That's a good piece of advice. I had a look at the Juventus team on the team sheet, by the way. And, oh my word. Right, tell everyone we need a strong defence today. That's going to be important. But we need to take control of midfield as well. And up top, I want to see Abdullah Etienne giving us the edge in attack as well. That's all very, all very good, all-round advice. Our team, of course, are looking as we just outlined with our 4 5 one. Don't like how it looks on this screen. It's a bit too compressed. Looking at the uh, the Juventus team, though, Blajevic up top is a threat. Cuenca as well is going to be dangerous. Bayanova is, uh, is a very good player as well. So... We are, we're going to have to put up a fight today. Be very surprised if uh, if we pull off a massive upset. I don't know why the game is is struggling so much. Maybe we'll uh, we'll get rid of something in the background there, see if that speeds the game up any. And uh, hopefully it will all work out for us. So, game is kicking off. 
And I'm very much hoping we can take a shock win and put ourselves top of the league table, which would be ideal. Of course, Tottenham playing today as well. I don't know who they're playing, so that could be the big question mark. We'll see how it all goes. We've got an early corner, though. Anthony Gordon's going to take it, and uh, very slowly. I don't know why it's doing this. That's, uh, that's not a good sign, but there we go. Marcato, the header, over the bar. He's going to be looking to impress today as well, because, uh, well... He's an Italian, and he wants to get himself sort of ensconced in the Italian squad a little bit. And if he's going to do that, doing a good performance against Juventus is probably the way to make that happen. Giardino on the ball for us. Plays it all the way back to Marcato. Marcato finds, or tries to find Giardini. Taylor gets in the way. I don't know which Taylor that is. Guessing he's a regen at this point, though. Marcato to Walters. Walters having a little run at them. Gordon finds them all down the line. Into Tian. That's going to be offside, surely. Surely that was offside. Tian must have been a country mile off for sure. Let's have a little look here. Marcato finds the ball through to Walters. Walters finds the ball through to Gordon. He's definitely offside there. Tian is definitely, definitely offside there. I think there's no two ways about that, to be honest. That's just how it goes sometimes. To be fair, he wasn't as far off as I thought he was. He was only a sort of foot offside. But he was... In fact, it wasn't even given. We've actually got the goal. That's shocking. That's shocking. We'll take it, but that's shocking. Free kick for Juventus now, and it's going to be Duranville to take it, looking for Mlambo. And uh, we'll hope, hope to get this ball back. Duranville gets a pop, though. I mean, frankly, that was sort of inevitable because it's Juventus and we are still, despite all of our successes, all of our promotions, we have to bear in mind it's still our first ever European campaign. We're still Sleepy Roxham from the Norwich suburbs and Juventus were always going to come to play. So that's not massively surprising. Tottenham also are top of the league table they are currently smashing Leggy of Arshava as Andrea Marcato. I said he'd be wanting to impress the Italian press against Juventus. And my words, Mirage with the corner in there. And I mean, Marcato leaps like a salmon, puts it past the keeper. And if the, uh, the Italian national team boss is watching, and I'm sure he must be, well... He's definitely put himself in some thoughts there as Anthony Gordon takes a corner. Short down the long ground there. Gonzalez back to Gordon. Gordon over into the box. Headed away. Tian picks it up. Richie. Richie with a pop from range off the post. Gonzalez can't put it away. And that's half time. And we are leading. We're leading against Juventus at this stage in the Europa League. That's ridiculous. If we beat Juventus, we've got to be among the favourites to win the entire thing. We're dominating on XG. We're dominating on possession as well. And that's only, only getting better as a percentage. Things are looking very tidy for us right now. Corner now for Juventus. Tiam heads it away. The first one for Yusuf, who's just scored as a sub for Rule Walters. Purely because Walters is on a yellow card. I don't want him to get suspended. And Flyovic has a pop. I think Garda may have tipped that wide. I think he may have got him, given him a corner. He has. Duranville is going to take it. And we need to get rid of this. Strecker's not having a great game as Garda tips it over the bar. I think I'm going to take Strecker off while I can. We'll send Alfie Dorrington in. Uh, Angeloni really wants to get on the pitch because obviously he's also an Italian and wants a chance to play against Juventus. But I don't think it's going to happen for him at this stage. We'll see how it goes. Throw it. I've sent Angeloni on for Marais because he was getting tired. Dorrington has also come on at the back for Strecker. And Silla has taken the field for Gonzalez, who was also looking tired. Do need to start rotating a few players. So that's what we've done here. And Yusuf now ball back to Silla. To, Gossa, to Gordon, sorry, into the box looking for Tiam. Doesn't find him. Jaladini should win this in the air. Doesn't. But, and uh, Flyovic now out to Britschke. And uh, there we go. Clint Yusuf doing what we paid Clint Yusuf to do. Some good defending there. Trying to hold on to this lead. There's a few more minutes of injury time to go. But we could be about to score a famous victory against Juventus. We have done it. Unbelievable stuff. Anthony Gordon with a 9.1 rating. What a performance from Anthony Gordon. 
we're going to say we are happy we got the result despite not being at our best. And uh, we think we're probably going to give a little bit of a little bit of top marks praise to uh, to Anthony Gordon. You were excellent tonight. Well played, son. Let's roll it forward, and we're going to see where we're going to come back. I think I already know in my head where we're going to come back, though. So we'll have a look at that. Looking at the uh, Europa League table, Spurs currently on top. We're in second. Fiorentina and Juventus are still up there. We've got Groningen from the Netherlands, uh, Hertha Berlin from Germany, Beerschot from Belgium, and Hearts are up in there. But, you know, let's not count any of these teams out here. There's still a couple of games left to play. Anyone from Rangers up will have a shot of getting the Rangers. will be disappointed to see Hearts qualify and to not qualify themselves if I'm completely honest. So that's going to be a thing to watch out for. One thing we do need to watch out for, though, is our next game. And actually, we're going to come back fairly quickly because we've got West Ham in the League Cup quarterfinal. And, uh, well, quarterfinals have kind of been a bit of a curse for us recently. So I would like to try and get us into a semi-final for the first time because I feel like we're overdue now. We're doing well in Europe. We should be able to get to a semi-final of, of the League Cup. There are only five Premier League teams left in it. We're the only Premier League teams playing each other as well. So it's going to be a tight one. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up there. Thank you for watching. I have, as always, been chasing labor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, that good stuff. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. Also, go check out on the channel my beginner's guide to Football Manager if you are new to the game. I have tried to lay it out to make it as simple as possible. I had a few nice messages from people just saying it's really helped them. So thank you for all those. And uh, until next time, guys, I have been chasing Lenny. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Till next time, have a good one.